According to the World Bank, Africa generates nearly 70 million tons of waste every year. As the income and spending power of the average African continues to rise, it is expected more goods will be consumed, leading to even more waste. Consider for a moment how much of what you touch each day ends up in the trash or recycling bin. The cup from your morning breakfast, leftover food, packaging or new electronics, that box from your latest online order, dirty diapers, the list goes on and on. At each point in the chain, there exists an opportunity to make money from trash. And one person who is taking advantage of the enormous opportunities waste presents is Chine Yenwa Okoro Onu, a university graduate. She gathers everything waste and makes art out of it. For Chine Yenwa, the most satisfying aspect of what she does is recycling a lot of materials that usually end up taking up a lot of space in landfill sites. Everything is a resource for us. Everything you can think of. Everything you can think of. And when I say everything, I mean every literal thing. I mean, somebody will say, oh, so would you use the waste in the gutter? Yes, would you use it? Uh, somebody will say, okay, sewage waste, how do you use it? Of course, there's a, there's a market for it, of course. Now, sewage waste can be turned into biogas. You know, so they are different. Nothing is a waste. In this same um, process of what we do, we have a hub where we train people on different and diverse ways of looking at environmental sustainability. Um, there are some who produces um, charcoal briquettes, okay, from coconut husk. We have some that um, some that makes um, bricks from from plastic bottles. Um, all of these are different young people that we are working with. So we on our own, of course, are showcasing, inspiring people to look at beautiful, you know, to appreciate art, to appreci appreciate waste to art. That's one aspect. But then there's a whole, you know, a whole lot of, 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 of ways to, to, you know, to utilize waste in our society. And, and that's, what we're, that's what we really, that's really what we are looking out to do. According to Chinye Yenwa, Adapting to environmental changes can be difficult, but rewarding. For her, no matter how bad waste smells, the business of garbage won't be slowing down anytime soon. This is because there will always be waste to dispose of. It is for this reason that she wants the government to support waste management companies. The government has a role to play, huge role to play. Policy needs to be very flexible. When those organizations, I, I mean, I'm sorry to say we live in a continent where people are not being held responsible for their, for their, for all of this waste we see in our society came from companies that make huge amount of money. I'm telling you what, they make huge amount of money from the waste, from, 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 sorry, from their products that we pay to consume. Government, yes, government can do something. Honestly, they can do a whole lot of good in this process. One extent is to put, um, um, you know, a burden on certain stakeholders to ensure that this is done. Reason I'm saying this is if a company that produces something have a reclaimable process where the certain amount of plastic used, if you bring it back, you get a discount for buying another or you get something. It will take off a lot of this menace from our streets. When asked what her advice to the younger generation was, this is what she had to say. I believe in the saying that we need to become the change that we want to see. And if everybody sits in the AC and we have a messy environment, who's going to clean up? If everybody wants to be educated and sit in the office and then we have all of this gutters to clear, it's not an uneducated person's duty. So whether you're educated, non-educated, you need to be part and parcel of the process. Her art sells for as much as $100 per piece, depending on the size. 